Okay, well this is real life and this is our review of the uh, Canon Selfie CP910 uh, printer. Uh, gone out and bought an extra box of uh, photo film and uh, toner with it as it doesn't seem to give you any clue of how much it comes with. So let's open the box, see what's inside. Well, okay, we've got our instruction manual in here. CD-ROM, which I guess works on Mac or PC. We'll see that in a minute. Uh, guessing this is going to be the uh, sort of printer paper holder. Oh, and we do have a pack of uh, printer folder, uh, printer picture paper in there. So let's see what else is in here. Uh, okay, package of toner in there. Okay, this looks like a uh, power supply, judging by the cable in there. Another miscellaneous cable, but I'm sure we'll find out what that is in a minute. And getting into the crux of it. I'm guessing I'm just going to have to pause the camera for a minute while I open this with two hands. Okay, tagged in the big box there. Uh, comes our printer. So I'm going to go and uh, unbox... Uh, all of these cables etc um put this together in two seconds okay when it comes to putting together the canon selfie uh cp910 uh the toner cartridge slides in from this end i think i might need two hands to do that okay that actually slides in fairly simply once you have it the right way up which i didn't snap that shut Okay, yes, index card goes in this way. Okay, correction, uh, that only needs half this pulled back with the back bit pushed down to get it to lock into place. So now I'm gonna power it up. Okay, when it comes to the power supply cord, power cord goes in here, power adapter here, this into the back here. Well, the Canon Selfie uh, CP910 seems to have worked itself up. Photo paper insert is correctly, so uh, let's see what we have to do to print. Okay, we'll pop in the CD in and uh, let's pull the software up. Okay, well, first things first, uh, the DVD that supplied with it keeps consistently uh, rejecting out of the thing, so I'm going to have to go online and download a driver. Uh, not a great start Canon. Okay, uh, well pretty much straight away I've been able to pull up the, the drivers very very quickly on Google uh, give Canon their due uh, on here. Uh, drivers and software is also already sensed I'm wearing, uh, using Mac Yosemite so I'm just going to go and uh, click on the, uh, the drivers uh, and download those. Okay, if you need to do the same as me, you're going to need to click on the little button to check you've accepted the terms and conditions. Click on download. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to bore you with the length of time that takes. Well, okay, for the same as me, normally you'd pull this up in your Mac downloads file, click on it and expect it to appear, but it won't. In fact, saves it uh, up to the desktop here. One of the little CD icons, double click on that and you get your package opener. Uh, not too impressive, Canon. Okay, double clicked on the package here. Uh, it's now getting ready to install it. So again, won't bother you too much with that. Okay, well, powered up the Canon selfie. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna press the menu button. Wi-Fi settings. So I'm gonna press down on this middle button to select. Uh, oh, connection method via Wi-Fi network. Via Wi-Fi network. WPS connection. So if any of you know how this works, this is simply where you uh, press the button on the back of your router to connect. So I'm gonna select that, pushing on the access point, then proceed. Two seconds, be back. Pressing okay for next. Hopefully I'll connect in a couple of seconds. Okay, we're good to go, we're connected. Press okay again. Okay, Canon, well, you sure as don't hell make this easy. Gonna need to go and click 
on system preferences down the bottom here and go and click on printers and scanners and then you're going to need to click on add new printer okay move up here there is the Canon finally showing on here okay going to add that that's what you're going to need to do to attach this Canon this is not an easy thing to just go in a couple of clicks and set up um, okay well finally I've got the picture that I wanted selected my uh, Canon printer at the list at the top here a uh, couple of trial and error ones which I won't bore you with too much um, other than the fact that it goes fit uh, to page on this one which just comes out with a, a ridiculous looking print also goes to black and white as standard uh, I've selected this on color uh, I think I've now got the right size print by 4 by 6 so I'm going to click on print and uh, here we go okay looks roughly right so okay set it over to print it's now going to busy so it's sending it over one thing i just would point out when it eventually uh, starts okay when it pulls the paper through it pulls it right the way back here uh, so you're not going to be able to put anything you not can't put this right up against the wall otherwise you're going to have a problem it needs the same room at the front as it does at the back it's going to do that continuously cycling every time something you need to be aware of when using the canon selfie okay uh firstly i think canon there's a lot of work to be done on the user-friendly interface uh, on this uh every single one of these shots has come out uh incorrectly and before finally using up the toner uh, it came with eventually i have the picture printed out that I wanted having had to turn it sideways on the screen because if not if I just print it out 4 by 6 this just comes out sideways on the screen this is not impressive this thing is supposed to be easy to use I'm sorry it is not entirely easy to use and um, the settings eventually here has appeared when I've changed the toner over and put in new paper eventually gave me the option to pick up postcard uh, size uh, to print out on it did not do this with the original paper and the original toner in there was no option to pick these um, does it give a great print well yeah the Canon selfie CP910 does give a great print uh, is it hard work getting there uh, yes, very. Uh, would I buy this printer again? Um, quite possibly not. Um, it, this is a hell of a lot of effort. Um, and I know what I'm doing. Um, but to anybody that, that's not technical at all, uh, they're going to struggle to even print anything out. Well, in conclusion, is the San Canon Selfie uh, CP910 uh, review that good? Well... It, it could be better Canon I really do think you need to get the uh, uh, the printer driver issues addressed the fact that it comes with a disc that won't play on the Mac is not good yeah you can download them pretty quickly then you've got an issue where they don't uh, upload themselves straight to your computer um, a, a lot of work to do here particularly if you're non-technical a lot of lot of work if you're non-technical and um, picture prints do come out great when we got there um, as I said this postcard option didn't appear at all uh, to start with and yet it's vital to printing out your pictures of uh, uh, Philip Puxigahani etc so well I hope you like this review um, this is real life as I say um, this is is not the best product I've encountered from Canon and I, yeah, I love Canon cameras love Canon cameras to bits um, but this printer was uh, lacking to my mind uh, if you like this, then uh, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching.